Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and this is going to be one of my mass pack opening videos. I've done a few of these in the past, I actually did one uh, not too long ago which where I opened 5 Dark vs. Light Hypercrates, so similar to this one. But those uh, Hypercrates were not directly bought off the GTN. Uh, I had, I don't know, I think about 3 off the GTN for 30 million credits each and the other 2 were got off the cartel market and I decided to see what I would get out of uh, 5 Hypercrates. I'm doing a similar video here but these 6 Hypercrates are straight up brought off the G bought off the GTN for somewhere around 30 million credits somewhere a little bit above uh, I think the highest I bought was for 34 million credits and so for a total that was around 200 million credits that I'm kind of gambling with and I thought it would be kind of a cool experiment to see whether I would make my credits back because what I found with the other Dark vs. Light opening where I opened up five hypercrates was I said let's imagine I sold each hypercrate for 30 million credits which is kind of the minimum of what it sells for I was talking to a subscriber a few uh, weeks ago and he was talking about how he sells these for 40 million credits per crate. So you can see it's pretty insane what these are going for and it's a pretty good deal to find them for 30 million credits which is why I even bought them up in the first place and thought it would be a good idea to gamble with them. But um, but in that other video I actually ended up making a huge amount of credits and profit just because when you open these things up in bulk the chances of you getting good items obviously increases tremendously. It's a law of averages, right? If you just had one hyper crate, uh, if you pay 30 million credits for it, it is a real gamble because there's no guarantee at all you'll make your credits back. And I have done some pack openings in the past. I did one with the Swotar guy, I did one just by myself and I did not make my credits back at all. And so it is a gamble. But when you open them up in bulk like I'm doing now, you usually make huge amounts of credits and profit and I'll give you the full value of what I get at the end of this video where I do some really rough calculations. We'll talk about that closer to the end of the video. But for now, uh, as you guys can see, I bought it up for 200 million and we're going to open it and see what I get. And I will speed it up while I'm just getting the junk and I'll only highlight it when I get a really good gold item. And I'm not going to talk too much about the items I'm actually getting. I'm just going to talk about Dark vs. Light packs in general. And the reason I'm even doing this video is because the Dark vs. Light event is ending. And when it ends, the Dark vs. Light packs will be taken off the cartel market. And that will be a sad, sad day because I think the Dark vs. Light packs are some of the best cartel No, scratch that. The best cartel pack to ever be released in the game. And I'm not saying that just because um, I've opened them and gotten a bunch of crazy stuff because as some of you guys might know, if you've been staying tuned to my channel for a very long time, I have opened these packs and gotten absolute crap. I have opened a Hypercrate and gotten like one gold item and I've had some really, really terrible luck and people have expressed their condolences in my comments. That's the extent to which I went to because it was just such terrible luck. But I've also had some great luck. But the reason I think these are some of the, um, sorry, as I was saying, this is the best cartel pack, and I'm really adamant in saying that, is just by virtue of what it contains. This pack has the best junk to good item ratio. And what I mean by that is there's tons of junk in this pack. Of course, there's going to be really bad crystals and really bad mounts and really bad weapons that sell for like 10,000 credits on the GTN. But there's also a huge wealth of really amazing items. And just compare it to the current cartel packs we have. Like if you look at uh, one of the recent cartel packs released in the in the months, um, a few months ago, for example, the Gemini, the Battler, the Scavenger, the Manipulator, uh, they all contain what, like two gold armor sets, three gold mounts, uh, uh, maybe a gold weapon here or there, or a gold crystal or something. That's very low amount of gold items. And there's no guarantee that the gold armor set's going to sell well, right? They look at the Artifact Seeker, for example. It's a really not, or the Artifact Seeker or the Desert Scavenger, the ones that were released in the recent Scavenger pack. Those are really nice gold armor sets, but they're not selling very well in the GTN. But if you look at the Dark vs. Light packs, these packs are jam-packed with amazing gold armor sets. You have chances of getting Tulak Horde, Revan, Revan Reborn, Zozan. Um, there's just so many amazing ones. Sith Recluse, Temple Guardian, there's just non-stop amazing gold armor sets. And um, amazing gold weapons as well. You have the Voltal Conquer, both the Saber and the Saber Staff. You have a chance of getting the Unstable Arbiter Saber. You have a chance of getting the Cathar Honor Sword. These are some of the most amazing, most sought after items available. And it's like Bioware just took all of these items and jam-packed them into one pack. And um, I think it kind of detracts from it from how amazing it is when people can't just see it straight up. Like, if, for example, if you went to the collections tab, you can see the items that come out of each pack. If they did a collections tab for the Dark vs. Light Cartel pack and showed all the items that came out of it, I think it would highlight it a lot more about how amazing this pack is because people would just see the huge wealth of amazing items you could possibly get from it. And of course, that isn't to say there's no junk because you can get tons of junk. Okay, these crystals drop like crazy um, and th there are terrible silver mounts and terrible silver weapons and 
and it's not uncommon to open a hyper crate and just get tons of this stuff and you'll definitely see that in the as this pack is opening you see me get tons of these crystals and that's complete junk I'm, i don't even have the energy to sell those if i was really adamant about selling everything i got i would probably just destroy those and just sell the other stuff because there's no point in just continually wasting uh, sales slots on the gtn on these things that sell for like 10,000 credits but um, but that's aside from the point the other thing I want to talk about is the silver items. It's not just to say the gold items are amazing, but some of the silver items in this pack are absolutely amazing as well. Uh, it's as if Bioware just said, let's take the most amazing silver armor sets we've ever came up with. Amazing armor sets like Reaver Set, Freed and Nad, Remulus Drapa, all these iconic Swotar characters and their armor sets, and let's throw it all in the same pack. And these items... Um, they've dropped recently in price because the Dark vs. Light packs, you know, obviously flooded the GTN. But they still sell for a huge amount of credits. You can still get anywhere from 300,000 to 1 million credits for selling these armor pieces. And they're silver rarity, meaning they are very common drops. And the Reverse Lower, for example, sells on the Harbinger for like 2.9 million credits. So you can see that you can make a huge profit off just the silver stuff, which is to say so-called junk because it's very common. However, the point is it sells for a huge amount of credits and the reason they sell is because they're iconic Swotar characters. Who doesn't want to look like Darth Maul? Who doesn't want Kraya's armor set or Remulus Drapa or Freed and Nod? They're all uh, really cool Sith Lords and stuff and people do want their armor sets. And so as the pack is opening, you guys are going to see that um, I'm getting tons of this stuff and I don't really count it as junk. I count it as, wow, that's another 500,000 credits. Oh, I got it again. That's another 500,000 credits and so on and so forth. And the same with the decorations. Uh, Revenite Altar, the Requilary Vaz, all that really good stuff sells for hundreds of thousands of credits on the GTN. And, uh, and it was really highlighted to me when I was doing the final calculations. I was going through my item stash to see uh, all the stuff I got from the Dark vs. Light packs and kind of doing some really rough calculations in terms of how much I think I would have been able to s sell it for. And, um, I, you know, they were stacking like crazy. I mean, I had like, you know, five decorations worth 500,000 credits. Well, that right there is 2.5 million credits. And so um, you can see how it can be totally profitable. And so I guess the bottom line is these packs are amazing and that's kind of the message I'm trying to get across. And the reason I'm getting so reminiscent about it now, as I mentioned earlier, was because these packs are pretty soon going to be gone. And so I think, although this video is kind of a final, tri uh, a final tribute, and I did want to kind of open these things, and it was kind of an impulsive buy, but the reason was because I'm like, these things are going to be gone soon, and I bet you in months' time I'm going to be sitting back going, oh, I wish I'd opened more of these when I had the chance, and so I'm kind of willing to gamble 200 million credits for this. Um, as you guys can see right now on the screen, Satil Sean's lower body armor. Those boots sell for an absolute ton of credits, and so uh, that's the reason I opened these packs. You know, when you see that little cube thing start to pulse and you know it's going to be a gold item, there's no excitement like when you're opening a Dark vs. Light pack because you're just hoping for something really, really good, and the chances are you might actually get one because, as I mentioned, this pack is such a wealth of really great items, you have a, actually have a higher chance of getting a really good gold item than a really bad one. Uh, that's not to say Ceremonial Mystic, as you guys can see there, is not um, is not uncommon because I've opened tons of these packs and just Ceremonial Mystic, Ceremonial Mystic, Ceremonial Mystic. And, uh, I, and I want to talk about this ending here because I just got Vsauce Mar and I was like, oh, come on, the pack's coming to an end. I really want some good stuff. So I kept opening it and um, next thing you know, it started to pulse and uh, I think we're going to reach that very soon. And I, I started getting really excited because it started to pulse. I'm like, please be something good. This is the last few packs. And I got two lock cord lower. And I was like, yes, that's awesome. Uh, you know, anything with the two lock cord name is awesome. So I opened another one and it started to pulse again. I'm like, it's going to be gold. And then it was Ceremonial Mystic. And I was really disappointed. But then the final pack, Sith Recluse Upper. So that just took me through a roller coaster of emotions. I got happy I got two lock cord. Then I was sad that the next one was Ceremonial Mystic. But the final pack was yet another gold item, and it turned out to be the Sith Recluse Upper Body Armor, which is probably the single best thing you can get from this pack, because that sells for a ton no matter what server you're on. And there's a difference, right? There's items that go up for a huge amount of credits, but don't necessarily sell at high prices, but the Sith Recluse Upper Body Armor is not one of them. That is probably the one item you're guaranteed to sell at a very high price, because everybody wants one. Uh, that's probably one of the po most popular armor pieces in the game, the Sith Recluse Upper Body Armor. And uh, it only took six Hyper Crates, but it was the last pack. Uh, it was from the last pack, so that was really lucky. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was just me rambling on about Dark vs. Light packs, but I actually really wanted to do this because uh, this era is coming to an end, and I know for a fact that I'm going to be thinking um, in the future, I'm going to be like, oh, I wish I'd opened more, so 
now I've opened them. And I can't say that I didn't get lucky. I definitely got really lucky with this pack opening. All right. I totally forgot, but uh, I'm going to do it right now. What is the final count of terms of how many credits I made? So I spent 200 million credits or something around that uh, buying these packs. Now, from my rough calculations, and I'm undershooting it like crazy, I estimate that just from selling the items on the GTN, I would make a minimum of 235,165,000 credits. So right off the bat, if you minus the 200 million it took to buy these packs, that's a profit of 35,165,000 credits. However, add in the Grand Chance Cubes, uh, which is, how many Grand Chances am I getting out of this? So that's 6 um, Hyper Crates, 6 times 30, that's 180 Grand Chance Cubes. And so if I sell each Grand Chance Cube for around 350,000 credits, then that pulls my net profit up to 298 million one hundred sixty five thousand so that's my net revenue you could say if I'm minus the 200 million it took to buy the hyper crits that's a total profit of 98 million one hundred sixty five thousand credits and keep in mind guys this is an absolute bare minimum uh, not a maximum a minimum for example with my Tula cord supplementary I, I estimated that to be valued at around 10 million credits the Sithrocoose upper I only estimated to be valued at 25 million credits so you guys can see that I'm undershooting it like crazy and I just did that for the sake of um, you know not overestimating the value I'd rather undershoot than overestimate and so that's why I say an absolute minimum of this I probably if I actually had the energy to go sell all this stuff on the GTN um, I am going to um, I, I would probably make much more than this the final thing I'll end this with is you guys can get a little bit excited too because I'm going to give this all away probably. Uh, I've probably hinted at this many times in previous videos but um, I can say this for certainty now. I am planning to do some huge giveaways when Kotet hits and a lot of the pack openings I've done like huge pack openings like this and other pack openings on my channel I just keep those items in my cargo bay or as you guys could see in this video my item stash was completely full because I just kind of leave them there and the point was um, I don't want to sell them all in the GTN because I have enough credits and stuff that's not my issue uh, I think I'd much rather just kind of give all this stuff away to my subscribers and to people on my channel so I'm planning some very very massive giveaways so if you guys are into that kind of stuff and you guys are hoping to get some really nice items uh, chances are you'll probably actually end up winning something. I have so many items to give away that the chances of you winning something are actually pretty high. And I'm going to be devising some systems which, in which I can kind of ensure that, that the chances of winning are actually pretty good and not like, oh, one entry in 1,000, right? Because a lot of my giveaways have had like thousands of comments or not thousands, hundreds of comments. But, um, you know, if you just enter in once, well, then that's one in like, I don't know how many hundred chance. So that's not very high, but I'm, I'm trying to devise a system by which you guys actually feel like you have a good chance at winning. And I'm working on that. But, uh, but yeah, there are some giveaways planned for Kotet. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.